Welcome back everyone, Aussie Dad Life. Got a bit of a quick video again for you tonight on my running journey from an equipment perspective that I hope can help out any other beginners with their journey if they're starting to run or are, you know just in the middle of that initial kickoff phase. So back in the day when I used to train for footy, sport, basketball, everything was cotton. Cotton socks, cotton jocks, cotton t-shirts. That's what I started running in again. Straight away, run into a number of issues with blisters, soaking wet feet, um, really, really uncomfortable. Went and spoke to my local running store. They put me on to some fancy new dry wicking technology socks. Ended up getting these. These are called Speed Goat Dry Max and are amazing. I couldn't believe the night and day difference with these particular socks. So after running with them on, end of a runner, come home, they feel dry to touch. I don't know how it works, magic, but they are absolute game changers from a running perspective for me. And have since switching to these, have not had a single blister. Anywhere up to my two hour runs, it's amazing. I honestly, I should have, these These were invented 15, 20 years ago. Oh my God, but amazing. Uh, they're around the 13 to $20 mark, depending on what size that you get, if you want ankles, if you want pull-ups and so on, but absolutely stunning. Um, get yourself a couple of pairs of these. You will never, ever look back. Just amazing. If you live in really, really cold, cool climates, they may not be suitable for you. I know for me, I do suffer with cold feet all the time. And if I come home and I'm just chilling around the house and I've got these on, my feet will start to get cold. So um, that's how good that they work. But absolute game changers. I then switched to some Under Armour dry wicking boxes as well, skin tight ones that fit. They would go down, you know, to your upper thighs. Going with them and putting on, getting some of this Body Glide um, anti-chafing balm. Amazing. This stuff, when you roll it on the nether regions, goes on quite dry. It almost feels like you're not getting anything on. But as soon as you do start to sweat, you can feel it starting to work. And yeah, all my chafing disappeared out the window when I got rid of the cotton cotton briefs and went to some proper dry wicking technology, uh, moisture transfer, whatever you want to call it, underwear, game changer. I just use the regular... Um, I think these are 15 or 12 inch running shorts. These are just Adidas ones. These have pockets. I run with my phone, so I like a pocket that I can sit in. And these don't have an inner mesh lining in them. They're purely just a running short. I've tried the inner mesh ones. Didn't work for me. Ended up cutting them out. I think these, depending on where you get them from, Rebel Sport and so on, anywhere from about $25 to $40. Any of the Nikes, Asics, you know, will do exactly the same job. Now, as I mentioned, running in cotton was a, was a bit of a standard thing for me. And I switched to some fancy, once again, all this new technology, dry wicking technology, running shirt, Adidas. Uh, once again, got them on special. These were around the 50 or $60 mark. And amazing. Super lightweight, super breathable. Remind you of sort of basketball singlet material. And yeah. Fantastic. I bought two pairs, so I sort of switch. That's a short sleeve one. I also got a long sleeve. Now, the reason I got a long sleeve was because I was running at night and early morning. I wanted to be able to run on those sort of cooler days. And yeah, same price as the other one pretty much. I got them on sale. It's got the reflective strip, so if you are running in the dark at night, you will get lit up if a car comes around and shines it on you. It's got a thumb, this one is pretty cool, it's got a thumb hole, so you can hold it there so it doesn't actually ride up your uh, your sleeve, your, your arms as you're running along. And once again, just absolute game changers. I wear this when I'm running, if it's going to look like it's raining or it is raining with my two times year light speed running jacket. Gives you a bit of a barrier between your skin and the running jacket so you don't get that sweat up um, and you stay really cool and comfortable when you're running. And even if it is a little bit on the warm side, you can wear this and it doesn't seem to overheat you like what a regular cotton one does. And because it doesn't hold any moisture, you know, you're not you're not feeling really uncomfortable. So absolute game changers, those two t-shirts. Now, other thing that I ended up buying because I'm gonna be doing a half marathon and I've also got a full marathon, sorry, I've done a half marathon. 
but I've got a full marathon coming up in November was ended up buying hydration backpack. So ended up getting a Salomon Active 8. Came with these particular drink bottles, something I'd never seen before. Flexible, half litre jobs. Um, easy, just chew on the bit. Suck, away you go as you're running. Plenty of room in the back for me to put my running jacket if it's going to rain, spare keys. Lots of pockets for gels and comfortable like I said, I haven't done any, I've done a couple of two hour, not a couple, I've done quite a few two hour training runs with this jacket on and you don't even realise it's there after about 20 minutes of uh, of running. You do get a little bit hot at the back if it's, uh, if it's a bit of a warm day. It's got the cool mesh once again to allow airflow and with those t-shirts that I just sort of showed you, you, you feel a little bit warm and you do sweat a tiny bit more. But once again, it's not dripping, it's not running down your back, and you don't even know it's there. It's I can't believe how I haven't had any chafing or any rubbing. The only thing that I do have to upgrade is my hat. This is really old running hat. I don't like to run with anything. I get really, really hot head um, when I'm running, so I've just been using this. But once again, this is all old school cotton. There's a lot better technology um, and material for breathing because I know I do sweat quite heavily into the headband when I'm running. So that's it from a clothing perspective. It's amazing how you go from pure cotton to dedicated uh, manufactured material. That is just mind-blowing. How you run, you'd come back and you'd finish and you'd feel crappy, sore, sweaty, chafed to this stuff where you can go for a two-hour run and feel perfectly fine. The last one that I ended up getting was a set of these ASICs, uh, what are they called, Evo Ride 2s. Now, I've had these for just under 600 Ks so far, and they look amazing. Most of the running I do is on dirt, or, you know, dirt walking trails or bitumen. Um, obviously, it's not a hardcore trail runner shoe, but feel amazing, nice and light, no idea of what the, the stack, height, drop, and all of that is, but they work. They're nice and cool to run in. Laces do up. They stay done up. I only do a single knot, and I haven't had them come undone at all. And if you look at the toe, you know, I'm a big guy. I'm 94 kilos. That's a fair bit of weight punching through a shoe. The tip of the shoe hasn't come off. Nothing has come away. The shoe looks brand new. It's a bit dusty at the moment, but if you throw them in the wash or they get wet and they clean up, they look amazing for something that's done that many kilometers. And I am absolutely wrapped with the money um, that I spent on them to get these. So that's pretty much it from, a, from an equipment perspective. I hope that's helped any of the beginners out there. If they're looking, spend $200, get yourself some good socks, jocks, and T-shirts, and you'll be so much more comfortable when you're running and so much more injury-free. Anyway, thanks again for watching Aussie Dad Life could subscribe, leave me a comment, and I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.